brief for the garden was a walled English beer garden. And um, from there we had conversations around the details of what that might look like, how it relates to the pub and how it relates to the area. One of the first questions was, uh, what's the common ground between a pub, a library and a garden? A library because um, Galbraith was originally Grafton Public Library, built in 1913. Um, so I did a bit of reading around that and the common ground there was each of those ability to tell a story and another common link with each of those was um, their ability to engage with people's senses and so that formed part of the story of the design. Another key part of it was um, our ability to connect with the context which is um, Mount Eden in Auckland in New Zealand and how do you do an English beer garden but have it grounded in New Zealand and that was achieved through weaving natives into the perennial um, plants and also using basalt curbstones, um, recycled basalt curbstones which connect with Auckland and the basalt of Auckland. There's always a few challenges. One of the challenges here was um, the space itself and what it's bound by and the awkwardness of those angles and how you can lose those awkward angles and that was achieved by using um, curves which articulate space in a casual sort of fashion and create outdoor rooms. Another challenge was um, that we're sitting next to a reservoir, which is um, a reservoir of water care, and underneath us is a number of underground services. So how can we approach the design in a way which um, limits penetrations into the ground? And that's achieved again by the curves, by some sloped gardens and this careful manipulation of levels doing away with retaining and, um, and less penetrations. The construction process was interesting. It was um, a little bit hectic, turned around in a really short time frame, which meant trades overlapping and a lot of, uh, a lot of bodies on the site and a um, bit of coordination involved there. It was turned around in about six weeks and um, that was to have the garden finished for spring and for summer and for um, Keith, the owner, to have patrons in here enjoying beers and food for, for the summer. Uh, there's always challenges with the construction. Um, one, of the, one of the things there was actually the plants themselves. One result from um, COVID has been people going mad on plants and gardens. And it means that um, nurseries and garden tenders have been under pressure to supply these plants. So the garden features about 50 or f over 50 different species. So the search for each of those was far and wide. I've had the pleasure of coming back and having a beer and stopping. And that's been really enjoyable. And watching people use the space, connecting with various areas, with the plants, with the antiques which are scattered around. Um, Keith, the, the owner, had a number of antiques which have been carefully positioned in sort of thoughtful ways into the garden. So as you move through, you reveal different, um, different items and different memories. Um, this is a garden which is allowed to move and shift and change and, and those things are embraced so it can take on a, a life of its own.